Hey guys, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. That's honestly the best way that you guys could support me, and I truly, truly appreciate um, all of your guys' love and support. It means the world to me. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into your reading. All right, Aquarius, let's just go ahead and get right into it. What is, whoa, 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 come on in here. Okay, what is Aquarius's current romantic situation with a past energy? So past energy could be, you know, somebody from your past that you've been dealing with or who you currently are in. It, it, it's an energy that's been lingering, okay? What's the current romantic situation for Aquarius's and this, this, this past energy, this older energy? Okay, four of pentacles. The Hermit, the Three of Wands, and the Moon. And what about Aquariuses that are recently single or dating or this new energy? What, what new energy is coming in for Aquarius romantically? Over the next couple of weeks. Yes, the Six of Cups. Hello, can I come in? The Emperor, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful. All right. So... Aquarius, I feel like with this past this past situation, I think that you were holding on to it because you weren't ready to completely let go, right? It was like a level of control. It's what you know, and I feel like you guys being a fixed sign, it's like you know what you know, right? Holding on to a situation with the Four of Pentacles, possibly a Capricorn, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Cancer, or Pisces. I also feel like, too, you needed to take some time with this person to really figure out what you wanted, how you wanted to move forward with this person. And also, I feel like you're really trying to figure out exactly what they're hiding because you're waiting for this person to expose whatever they've not said, whatever is, is hidden, and whatever illusions are here. Because I do still feel like you're still holding on to hope that this person, possibly uh, Scorpio, that they're just as obsessed with you as you are of them or Libra. And I feel like you're still holding on to the fact that that person can't just give up that easily. think too here you're taking time to try to figure out whether or not you want this connection or you don't right your situation is you're taking a pause to see if there's something better that's out there ace of cups true love romance loving yourself but also too i think that you're testing to see what else is out there is this the end all be all and i feel like for your person um they wouldn't they wouldn't like that and i feel like they there would be a sense of hurt here um, a definite sense of hurt because I feel like the hermit takes time and they go to high ground to figure out exactly what's best for them and exactly, you know, what the next step is. Because for you, you're waiting for this type of love that you feel like uh, doesn't necessarily exist, but it does. And I feel like you're waiting for this person to finally come out and say it, but you're waiting for this person to finally express how they feel, but they're hiding. There's also something here that you feel like this person needs to let go of, but they haven't yet. What does Aquarius feel like they need to let go of? Their partner. Two of swords, possibly a decision, possibly two people, right? Uh, Libra energy. It's like, and this could be you too. You know that you have to come to some type of decision. And I feel like in the meantime, you may be very quiet with this person because you're trying to figure out your entire life and you're trying to figure out what exactly makes you happy. Down here, I feel like this even may be a connection possibly with somebody from your past, okay? With um, the King of Cups here. And, or, I'm sorry, 
the Six of Cups here. This may be a connection from your past or even a past life, or it's just a day of Scorpio, Aries, uh, Sag, or Capricorn. I feel like here with, with the Six of Cups, I do feel like you're getting back to some energy from the past. It's, it's like you're reconciling from someone from the past. Yeah, it's like something has changed and now this person is coming around. They're coming around because for them, they had something where, where it's like all of a sudden destiny, it's like the clock is twisting it. And I feel like it's coming into fruition here. There's something here, this Wheel of Fortune energy, Sag energy. This is karma coming in. And I feel like it's good karma. I don't feel like it's negative karma. There is a certain turning point. You feel like it's a turning point with you and this person. I also think for you, it's like with this emperor energy coming in, th this is something, a very strong commitment. For you, you feel like this newer energy, you and them are going to move very quickly into some type of commitment here. And I feel like you're very happy. You're you're happy that this person has finally stood up. You're it, it, It's almost too like you have a level of wish fulfillment here. Because for you, it was like the last text. It may be this person up here that got their head out of their ass and now their energy is new where they're coming down below. But I really feel like this is somebody from your past that you've dated before that maybe wasn't ready to commit. And now all of a sudden, it's like they don't want to lose you. So they felt like they just couldn't be with you, possibly because of family issues or whatever. And I feel like this person made you an option, but now it's like they've made their mind up. And I feel like it's because of a level of divine intervention here that is bringing both of you, you guys together. And I feel like they're locking out whatever type of outside influences were initially here with you guys. You want me to tell Aquarius? Do you see how it's all hella heavy Sag energy? Jupiter. Things are changing. There is expansion around, like, look, Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter. There's a level of expansion here. There's a level of growth. There is there is reconciliation coming where there is a sense of harmony here. And I definitely feel like you guys are going to be getting into some type of committed relationship. And I feel like it's one where you and this person are, are, are very um, possessive of one another. But there's a level of happiness and a level of success that does come with this. You feel very happy about your situation here. Okay. Pick up these guys. All right. Um, what is what is Aquarius's this top? Okay, well, can I get the question out? Well, what is Aquarius's person up here? What, what is their uh, current romantic energy? What is their current romantic energy? This older person or Aquarius's that are in committed relationships? Eight of Cups, King of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and Justice. Okay. Move this bad boy over. Hopefully you guys can all see this. I'm praying. I hate when it's off center though. It gives me like a low. I don't know. I think my OCD kicks in where I'm like, you know, what the hell? Okay. And um, what is this person, this newer energy? What is their current romantic energy? What is their current romantic energy? Towards Aquarius. Wow, that just jumped out and flew. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. The World. And the Seven of Cups. Interesting. All right. So whoever you're dealing with, um, you may have walked away from them because it, it just wasn't enough, right? You may have walked away from a Pisces um, or Saturn in Pisces. You also have Leo in Cancer energy, Capricorn, and then Libra. I feel like your person, it's, it, it's like they all of a sudden know what they want. Let me ask really quick. What, what are they walking away from? Libra's, or not Libra, Aquarius's uh, person of interest. What, what, what are they walking away from here? Being left behind. 
Ten of Pentacles. Hold on. How would this make Aquarius feel? How would this make Aquarius feel? Wheel of Fortune. Hold on. Okay. Here's what I'm getting. I feel like this person, um, they may have recently left a marriage, okay? Um, they may have recently left a situation where they felt overwhelmed and that they had a lot going on, which is why they couldn't necessarily give to you 100%. And I feel like this person is angry because of the position that they've been in with you. And I definitely feel like they're worried that they're not going to have you. That's what I'm getting. That's why this person wants to put the work in. That's why this person is planning on contacting you. They're planning on making things right. This person all of a sudden has an energy where they know what they want. King of Wands, right? Show me a Leo that does not know what they want. Go ahead and I'll wait. Leos know what they want. And it's funny because I always say, if a Leo wants you, they will not stop. Maybe they'll go quiet for, you know, a week or two, but they'll always come back. Um, hell, I have Leos that still message me till this day and I've not spoken to them for years just to say hi and see what's up. You know what I mean? So I feel like this person is leaving behind whatever burdens or uh, attachments that they originally had. And now it's like they're preparing themselves to get with you. This, this is somebody that's ready for a real commitment. How does Aquarius feel about this energy? Page of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I think for you, it's like, yeah, you're saying that, but let's see what happens. Um, because I feel like this person is going to message you that, but at the same point in time, I feel like you're going to be worried or have a level of anxiety when it comes to this person, because maybe there, th there's a lack of answers or, you know, your questions are not necessarily being, you know, you feel like this person isn't truthful or you feel like you may not be able to trust this person. So now, or, or that this person hasn't changed. That's what I'm getting. And what about this, this person down here? I feel like this person, I feel like they do have options. I feel like they're weighing their options. I think that for this person, they're ready for some type of new beginning. They're ready for a level of emotional connection and commitment. And I feel like they're out here kind of putting their feelers out. Hmm. Yeah, this person is ready for a new commitment and a new start. Definitely, 100%. Queen of Cups, we have the lovers. This person, I feel like, is in love with the idea of love. In love and security, emotional security and stability is important to this person. I feel like this person is ready for a relationship. I feel like this person has completed whatever type of healing that they need in, in order to move over. And I feel like they had an option here and they're making some type of choice because you have the world here, right? And the world, it's, it's all about a level of completion. And I do think that this person has more than one option, but I think for them, it's, it, it's like that's coming to an end here, I feel like. Look, just like what I said, two of cups. This person's energy is like they're falling in love. There, there's something here where it's like they definitely want uh, union. Venus and Scorpio, let me tell you, that is an intense placement, right? And you have two Venus cards. You have Venus and Scorpio and Venus and Cancer. This, this is a very possessive energy, okay? This is an energy where this person is, I want what I want and that's mine. And they're going to lock it down any way that they possibly can. But I'm getting, I'm getting the thing here where what this person wants, especially romantically, is to have a long-term commitment or a long-term relationship with the right person. This person's like, all right, I walked away from my family. What's popping? All right. What is the, what's coming in for Aquarius over these next couple of, a couple of weeks? What's coming in for Aquarius? these next couple of weeks romantically with this top energy. Okay. The lovers that look like it wanted to be in reverse. The world. Oh. Two of pentacles, eight of cups. Okay. Interesting. 
What about this newer energy? What's coming in for Aquarius with this newer energy coming in for them? Woo! Five of Pentacles reversed. Four of Cups. Judgment. And the Ten of Pentacles. Holy cannoli. Okay. Really quick, I just want to say this. All of this is going to be in the extended where we go over card by card and really dive deep into what's going on. I'm also going to ask, of course, the questions that are currently on the screen, as you guys can see. So the link for that will be in the comment section below. Uh, please feel free to click, 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 clack, um, clickety click. Um, and yeah. Oh, also too. So I wanted to, um, I'm doing this with all the readings. And the one thing that I'm doing is if you guys enter in the comment section, the word, let me see, let me, let me grab a word. Enter the word gamble in the comment section below if you made it this far. If I choose your comment, which is done by a random picking, okay, you'll, um, you'll get a free question reading uh, from me. So a couple of winners I'll pick probably tomorrow or the next day. And um, yeah, so make sure that you enter the word gamble into, into the comment section. Okay. All right. Let me give you a brief breakdown, a brief, a quick, a quickie, right? Cliff notes. There is something here where you're going to have to make a decision whether or not you want to stay or you want to leave. For a lot of you, you are walking away from something whether you're walking away from the decision and you're walking towards love or you're ending this completely and starting something here, right? As far as this person down here, I feel like there's something here where you're no longer feeling like you don't have enough. I also feel like too, though, you're daydreaming. You're, there's something here with this person where there is something being expressed here that's going to make you go, what the hell? You know what I mean? Like, what the hell just happened, right? And I feel like it's going to pertain either a commitment or the fact that this person may already possibly be into a commitment. For those of you guys that this has been enough, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for supporting my channel. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scout.